Is your cat a picky eater? Does training seem impossible because your cat isn't food motivated? At least not yet. I'm Misty. I'm a certified cat behavior consultant and fear-free trainer. I'm here to show you how to find treats your cat likes so you can use them in training. Treats are the easiest way to provide positive reinforcement for cats. We're going to look at four different categories of treats. Bite-sized treats, chunky treats, lickable treats, and toppers. For each category, I'll give you ideas of different treats you can try. The goal is to find at least one treat, but ideally two different types, that your cat likes. Just a quick disclaimer, I'm a cat behavior expert, not a nutritionist. I'm not going to tell you how to feed your cat. I'll just give you a little background on treats. The VCA recommends that treats should make up less than 10% of a cat's daily calories. Too many treats can give your cat an upset stomach, or over time, make the cat overweight. When you give your cat treats, be sure to adjust their diet accordingly so they aren't getting too many calories. If your cat has special dietary needs, talk to your vet to determine which treats are appropriate. Now let's look at some treats. Starting with bite-sized treats. Bite-sized treats are good for everyday training because they're small. That means the cat can eat a treat quickly and be ready for another one. You can get in more reps because the cat won't fill up too fast. Bite-sized treats come in different textures. I like to use crunchy, dry treats because they bounce when you toss them on the floor, so they're fun for the cat to chase. Plus, they're similar to the texture of a pill, which comes in handy for medication training. When it comes to dry treats, there are literally hundreds to choose from. If your cat's a picky eater, you could spend a bunch of money on treats before you find one they like. Instead of shopping in the treat section, a more economical option is to get some free samples of dry cat food from your local pet store. Most pet stores give out free samples of food. Try some varieties that are different from your cat's regular food so they'll be special. It's usually cheaper to buy a small bag of an alternate food, even if it's a fancy kind, than to buy an equal volume of dry treats. Now for chunky treats. Chunky treats are larger than bite-sized treats. They have higher value to the cat, so you can use them for more challenging training tasks. Most of the time when I use chunky treats, I go for freeze-dried treats because they're simple, healthy snacks. One of our favorite brands is Uncle Larry's Pet Treats. They're a local brand for us here in Oregon. They're responsibly sourced. They come in different flavors for dogs and cats. All of my cats like Uncle Larry's treats. Pearl loves every flavor. If you can't use freeze-dried treats, plain cooked meat with no butter, oil, or seasoning can be an alternative. If your cat prefers crunchy dry treats, I recommend Feline Greenies Dental Treats. These treats are larger than most dry treats. They're among the few cat treats approved by the Veterinary Oral Health Council, so that makes them worth buying. Lickable Treats When it comes to lickable treats, Inaba Churu is the most well-known. They offer a variety of flavors. Most cats can't refuse it. If your cat doesn't lick directly from the squeeze tube, try offering it on a lick mat or in their regular food dish so they recognize it as edible. My cats also like New Lo Perfect Purees. These treats can be juicy, so it helps to squeeze the tube before you open it so it's well mixed. If you can't use Churu or another squeeze tube treat, you can still give your cat lickable treats with a spoon or a tongue depressor, wide popsicle stick. Try chicken or turkey baby food. The ingredients should just be meat, water, and starch, no added seasoning. Baby food is a more economical option because you get about five times more food in a jar than in a single squeeze tube treat. If you're feeding the cat from a dish or a lick mat, you can buy canned chicken, salmon, or tuna that's meant for human consumption. Just make sure there's no added oil or seasoning. And finally, toppers. Toppers are treats you sprinkle on top of your cat's food. I use toppers to coat gel caps for medication training. The leftover crumbs from freeze-dried treats make great toppers. In fact, some companies have realized this and they're selling the crumbs separately in shakers. If your cat likes fish, bonito flakes are another good option. The first time you give your cat bonito flakes, they might be confused. Bonito flakes have a strong aroma of smoked fish, so your cat's nose will be working overtime. As they sniff, the bonito flakes might blow all over the place. But once they realize they can eat them, most cats love them. Here's a tip. You can actually save money by buying bonito flakes made for Japanese cooking, and you can eat them too. In our house, we use freeze-dried treats and bonito flakes. When our treats are getting low, we just mix all the crumbs together in one container. It's helpful to keep a list of treats your cat likes and rank them from okay to good to awesome to OMG. 
That way we can use them in training. Keep in mind, the value of treats is relative and will change depending on the context. If strawberries are my favorite, but I just ate a pint of strawberries, their value as a reinforcer may go down temporarily. I might not want a strawberry milkshake at that moment, where the value of another reinforcer, like brownies, might increase. If you find your cat's favorite treats and give them to them every day, they won't be as special. I suggest saving their favorite treats for more difficult training sessions. If you're a geek like me and you like experiments, you can set up a preference test to find your cat's favorite treats. Here are our cat's top picks. Now for some frequently asked questions. Can I give a cat food that's made for humans as a treat? It's best to avoid feeding your cat food that's meant for humans. Many of the foods that are made for humans have spices added to them. Onion and garlic are some of the worst offenders. Raw meat and fish and also raw eggs can be dangerous to cats. They have bacteria that the cats may not be able to digest properly. And believe it or not, by about 12 weeks of age, most cats are actually lactose intolerant, so dairy products are one to steer clear of also. With a few exceptions, it's best to stick with treats that are actually made for cats. Thanks for watching! For more personalized training, check out my website at fellowcreaturespets.com. Which treats in this video have you found that your cat likes? Let me know in the comments below. We're going to look at bleh. This is three. <laughs> yeah. <That way. laughs> That's adorable. Oh, there was brain freeze. Swipe. Hey, 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 rude. You gonna do it? Oh, smart girl. <laughs>